forestry department. But I'm gonna make all this uh, curly maple here into rims. So there'll be about 15 of these. Some beautiful curly maple. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So I gotta get back to work waiting on my sand for soft maple. I'll be making this uh, curly maple rims from West Virginia. And uh, it's gonna be a good, great, beautiful rims there. Got a whole bunch of them ready to go. Look at the curl on that stuff. Anyway, back to work, folks. Been in curly maple today. And uh, that's gonna be the next project. Curly maple rims. I got one cherry I can make out of all that. So it'll be one cherry and got 16 of these curly maples. I got the American steam vending machine over here. Starting to heat up. That is going to be one awesome room. Ooh, look at that. That is going to cost people more. I'm charging more for that one. Ooh. These will be down at first quality in about, I guess, uh, two weeks. It takes that long for them to dry and glue it up, but be on the lookout for that one. I can't work with this machine can, so I just load it up and put my foot back up on rest and let it do its business. This is uh, putting the angles on the ends of the strips. So when I get done with these, these are all the curly maple I was working on. Uh, there'll be 16 of them we're gonna try to make. This is the last of the wedges we're making. And there's the machine doing its thing. Pretty cool. Back to resting. As you can tell by the mess, I've been uh, and, uh, steam taking these off the steam jigs. Yay! Look at the curl on that one, man. Whew. They're all beautiful. And they match these other other parts of them up here. And I already got some glued up here. So there's getting ready to be some really nice looking curly maple. Three ply wood rims coming out of here. Doing. The very first curly maple three ply wood rim. That curl. On the inside, look at that curl. That right there is going to be one awesome room. It goes down to first quality. That's one. There's another one down there. And then I got a bunch more I'm making. So uh, if you like them, uh, give Eric a call. Uh, unless he's going to keep them, he might keep them for himself. I don't know. There's my spot now. I got all my C's, my V's, my A's. Plus the two I've made already. And putting some seashells on today. As you can see right here, this is the last layer for this one. Four these curly maples are done. Look at that. That's going to be a beautiful rim. All four of them are. I got a bunch more I'm making up. All these pieces. These two need to seize. These two need to be. All right, got a these up right here to glue up today. We need some shells. These are finished. Six curly maples. Some of them are super curly. They're all super curly on the inside. 
because that's where you're going to see the banjo if you take out the resonator or put on the uh, uh, clear head. On the outside, they're a little bit less curly because all the decorative uh, metals and pieces that go to hold a banjo together go around here. But they're still curly, like this. Some of them are super curly on both front, inside and out. These are the last two curly maple. And I'm getting ready to take these down to first quality today. And I don't know what he's going to do with them. But if you're interested, you can call Eric at his uh, off their website. I don't know the phone number right off the bat. But there's eight of them. And two more over there. So there'll be ten of them. All right.